Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ashwin Javadekar and at the beginning, let me first wish you a very happy No Sugar Day. 1st November is India's National No Sugar Day and in this presentation, I am going to talk about a novel global approach for sugar advocacy. What is a global approach? We all have heard, think globally but act locally, haven't we? But I am going to talk about how to act locally and reach globally in the context of sugar advocacy. The World Health Organization in 2015 recommended that the intake of free sugars in our diet should not be more than 10% of total energy intake. In simple terms, none of us should consume more than 6 spoons or 25 grams of sugar per day. And let me tell you that this is the upper limit. The lower limit could be as low as zero. And what are free sugars? Basically, free sugars are those sugars which are added to foods and beverages by manufacturers, cook, or the consumer himself or herself. And they are present in uh, the form of table sugar or honey or syrups or food, fruit concentrates, etc. Now, these sugars, they are harmful to our health in a variety of ways. And these sugars are basically linked to a lot of non-communicable conditions such as diabetes uh, type 2, hypertension, coronary heart disease, and they can make us obese as well as uh, one of the problems that we see every day because I'm a dentist is tooth decay. And believe me, the world is already in the pandemic of most of the conditions that I have mentioned just now. The Food Safety and Standards Authority of India also has recommended that within school premises, children should consume safe foods. And they also have put forth a few restrictions on foods that are high in uh, sugar and a few other substances. Also, certain professional bodies such as the Indian Academy of Pediatrics has recommended restriction on the uh, sale and use of high sugar foods in the schools and children should be introduced to eat right concepts and the campus or the environment should also be eat right campus. Now these professional bodies or these apex organizations, they have been recommending restrictions on the use of sugar. But when it comes to practical implementation of it, we often fail uh, why uh, uh, fail in understanding why the same doesn't uh, translate into behavior change or environmental change. The Federation Dental International, along with the Indian Dental Association, organized a full mouth advocacy and capacity building workshop with uh, aim at advocacy against sugar and tobacco under the visionary leadership of Dr. Ashok Dobre, the Honorary Secretary General of Indian Dental Association. This workshop was held in June 2022. And one of the outcomes of this workshop was the Mumbai Declaration on Sugary Drinks and Healthy Food. Now, this declaration was followed up by the observation of National No Sugar Day on 1st November 2022. It was earlier proposed to be 1st September, however, it was postponed to 1st November. And we have followed up on this uh, National No Sugar Day concept with a series of webinars this year too. Now, what is the uh, action plan of the Mumbai Declaration on sugary drinks and healthy food. Well, it has suggested seven key areas of action, as you can see here in the slide, uh, of which the second is the observation of a national no sugar day annually. Now, this declaration has been signed by the FSCI, the Tata Memorial Center, uh, Central Council for Research in Ayurvedic Sciences, PHFI, that is Public Health Foundation of India, Indian Academy of Pediatrics, Indian Dental Association, Indian Society for the Pedodontics and Preventive Dentistry, and a few other global uh, um, organizations as well. And uh, these are the uh, signatories of this document, that is uh, the Mumbai Declaration. And we can see some of the noteworthy quotes of these dignitaries 
And uh, at the bottom, you can see my code because I had proposed this idea of no sugar day, which got accepted in this uh, uh, declaration. The observation of national no sugar day as a re result of this declaration was noticed globally. The Federation Dental International, they published on their website uh, that India observes its first national no sugar day. The Idea Times, which is a national bulletin of the Indian Dental Association, also declared the observation of national uh, no sugar day. Probably India is the first country to our knowledge to have observed such an initiative. Now, what could we do on uh, the no sugar day that is first November? Well, this is a symbolic uh, day. Of course, there can be many more no sugar days if we want to stay fit or healthy. But in order to spread awareness, in order to sensitize uh, different stakeholders, we could carry out uh, some of such initiatives. And I would like to mention a few of them. We could have some banners, we could have e-banners, we could have uh, uh, some uh, kind of uh, a banner or a poster put on our social media posts. We could have in-campus march of uh, staff and students when it comes to a school or a college premise or in a workplace we could have a march of uh, the uh, uh, workers, employees and employers. We could run a pledge practice promote campaign. I will give you several examples of that. But a simple example to start with is if I take a pledge of uh, not having uh, anything containing free sugars for say 100 days, then I would like to practice that and I would like to promote that to others. That would definitely motivate a few more to do that. We could keep talks of doctors or health professionals uh, to spread awareness related to the harms of sugar. We could distribute or display educational material. We could publicize the event through media, both electronic as well as print media. If such events are endorsed by celebrities, then the impact on the larger population is a lot more. And we've seen that in other health campaigns too. But we can work towards achieving a sugar-free or a less sugar campus with um, some agreements on restrictions of uh, sugar-sweetened beverages, chocolates, cakes, etc. at workplaces. I've seen that often at workplaces, um, there's a lot of uh, uh, cake cutting or uh, chocolate distribution or sweet distribution that happens to uh, on a festive uh, base as well as uh, to share or uh, to uh, share the joy of success uh, success or happy times. Also, many times the sugar-free options are not available when it comes to serving of tea and coffee and that also leads to uh, high consumption of uh, sugar. So we could serve tea coffee with default option as sugar-free and make sugar as well as sugar substitutes available. Now, on an individual or a family level, we could endorse concepts such as a sweet Sunday concept, where we restrict uh, the consumption of sweets only to Sundays. We could have certain no sugar day challenges. We could try and maintain a sugar free fridge. We could have a no sugar day on a birthday. I have been following a no sugar day on my birthday for the past nine years. And there are many more innovative ideas. We have uh, put forth a few innovative ideas on our uh, YouTube channel, No Sweet Talk. There are 21 video posts available for anybody to see. But you could also come up with some new innovative ideas. We will be happy to post them. Now, this is just a glimpse of our YouTube channel, uh, No Sweet Talk. Last year, that was uh, 2022, in Bharti Vidyapit Dental College and Hospital Navi Mumbai, where I teach, we observed the first uh, no sugar day and it had uh, several uh, uh, things in it and some of the interesting things that we could do were distribution of, uh, of course sugar free, uh, sugar -free uh, foods and beverages and also instead of a cake cutting we carried out a dopla cutting and some such thing was uh, really appreciated by the persons who were present there. So at the end, let me wish you again a very happy No Sugar Day on 1st November. Uh, it's not a good idea to keep enjoying only sweet beverages and sugar-containing foods because in short, 
the most powerful slogan about sugar is sugar kills the global child dental fund charity based in the uk has included no sugar day in their child smile india project and uh, they have also endorsed this initiative of india so through this initiative india can exhibit exemplary exemplary public health leadership in the advocacy against sugar and i wish everyone no sugar day a big success thank you